Hey friends, <laughs> today is March 19th. I'm hanging out in my car because I'm about to drive down 192 here in Orlando and I kind of wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the touristy district over here. As you know, they have a lot of weird themed motels, some special gift shops and some attractions too like Old Town and Machine Gun America and I thought it'd be cool to give you guys a look of what it's like after Disney World closing. If you remember I did an international drive video and I uh, just wanted to show you the other side of town. So let's go do this. Now most of this is going to be filmed from inside my car. I am going to practice social distancing and not go out anywhere where there's five or more people. So uh, lots of driving. And I can tell you right now they don't got the fancy scooters on 192. <laughs> Like I said, most of the businesses here are actually still open. 7-Eleven's open. Gas is only $1.99. Chick-fil-A is also open. drive through only. But I do hear they're going to close on Sundays. They even have the cow man out there letting everyone know Chick-fil-A is open. Eat more chicken! Thank you. First stop has to be Old Town. Just to take a glimpse to see if they're still open or not. Looks like they're running people up in the Ferris wheel. I see someone loading up right there right now, so that tells me that they're still operating. If you're not familiar with what Old Town is, it's basically an entertainment plaza with a whole bunch of shops, Ferris wheels. They even have a haunted mansion that runs all year long. Different types of restaurants. It's kind of cool, but it's not Disney. <laughs> Don't be mistaken. And just taking a quick look, it is pretty empty in here, but fully open. Even A&W open. Normally the Happy Daiquiri bar would probably be a little bit busier because it is a beautiful day out today, but not too many people enjoying it. Right behind the arcade, they actually have Fun Spot. Best day ever. Still actually running. I can hear the go-karts flying by and I see like some test runs for like their little roller coaster and stuff. Oddly strange enough, people are here. But like I said, I am keeping my social distance very, very low. So I'm not actually gonna go in to Fun Spot, just walking on the outside because I know that there's some people in there. And I uh, just wanna give you a, a look at it from a, a distance. <laughs> I can actually see people are riding the flying bobs at the moment. I definitely would not be riding the flying bobs. I don't like spinny rides, number one. Plus, very full of germs, possibly. To sum it up, it's basically a year-round fair or carnival. Um, that's how I look at Fun Spot. Basically a carnival. <laughs> Probably gonna move along and get back to the car. But wow, like I said, on a day like today, there would be a lot more people here. I mean, honestly, the sun on the beach bar is a very popular place for the locals. And uh, that's about all I see there. It's like two locals hanging out on the outside. They're not giving up their post for anything. I'm going to actually move along from Old Town and continue our journey down 192. Show you some other attraction spots and also some unique motels. Like I said, Disney and 192 have a rich history. A lot of the motels kind of tried to play off Disney with such places called like the Tomorrowland Inn and the Magic Castle. So I think it'd be unique to show you those spots and just basically the surrounding area. Like I said, there are still plenty of people actually riding the attractions here. Luckily, I'm able to drive through in my car to give you a look at it. One thing I can't quite understand is basically how all the fast food restaurants are now drive through only, but most of the dine-in restaurants are actually still open. You can just go in and actually sit down and eat. I know some of them are taking proper precautions with like removing caddies off the table and also spacing the boots so people aren't sitting next to each other. But I feel like they should probably put a halt to that itself. There is no mandate, like mandatory, like closure on any of these businesses uh our government hasn't said shut it down nothing like that they did restrict the uh fact that you can't have beer or alcohol served in restaurants after 5 p.m but i think that was just to cut down people meeting up and gathering for saint patrick's day 
another unique stop is going to be Orange World right here, where you can get yourself some fresh squeezed orange juice. They still have everything outside, but I don't think we're getting any visitors. Free samples. Oh, and they even have a bottle of sanitizer on there. Longhorn Steakhouse is still open. They're actually doing some landscaping, keeping it pretty on the outside. I mentioned before some unique motels, and look at this one right here. This is the Magic Castle. And if you're familiar with the movie The Florida Project, it was actually filmed in this exact location. And uh, it's definitely a gem, I can tell you that. Look at that big purple castle. Kind of funny, International Drive, they have the Castle Hotel, and then we got the Magic Castle for 192. Now, I have to say, the Castle Hotel and International Drive is a little bit more upscale than this one itself, but they do have helicopter rides, which one's about to take off, actually, right next to the Magic Castle. I have done a video in the past about the motels and actually the movie The Florida Project and the filming locations of the different places that they were filming here on 192 before. I'll put that video link in the description. It's definitely a cool thing to check out because I really did like The Florida Project, but we're going to drive through the Magic Castle and just take a look at the outside. I would have to say, it looks like they're pretty empty here. There's actually only two cars in the parking lot. Oh, three cars. Also, the Disney gift shops, or the Disney gift outlets, are actually still open as well. But nothing's gonna close those places down. <laughs> Nothing. You can take a look at the traffic here on 192, and it's very quiet. Kind of eerie how quiet it is. This is a very busy intersection and uh, not too many vehicles. Some of the streets even have a little Disney twist on them or a Disney play. Seven Dwarves Lane, which actually that road leaves, well, leads to basically a motor home park, which is a very popular one actually in this area. A lot of people stay there constantly whenever they come on vacation down to Orlando. It's a very nice motor home park too, I have to say, I've been down there. Kissimmee's own go-karts, arcade, and gators is actually open too. People are coming out, feeding the gators, playing some games, riding some go-karts. Not too many people though. Last time I did check, there were 15 known cases of the virus here in Orange County. And uh, I'm sure once we actually get more tests and more people are going to go out and get tested, that number is going to rise. And uh, you have to think, what do you think it would have been like if Disney was still open? I mean, that's the biggest draw here, actually, in Central Florida. I mean, everyone, like, you automatically just think Disney World, Orlando, Orlando, Disney World. So, I mean, for good reasons i'm glad disney did decide to close down they're setting a good example and you know universal sea world all those other places followed right in their footsteps now this is kind of insane the 192 flea market is actually open seven days a week means seven days a week virus or not and wow there's nobody here i don't know how any vendors are actually out here selling at this moment that's crazy. I'm not going to go inside, but take a look. I mean, they got hats and sunglasses. That's insane. Who's going to be out here going to a flea market during this, <laughs> this period of time, actually? One place I know I don't have to worry about social distancing is the Shingle Creek Regional Park historic Steffi homestead which is a beautiful area and you know what i could use a little outdoor fun this place is absolutely gorgeous and amazing to walk the paths you can even do some kayaking here and enjoy just nature in florida and get away from the traffic you can actually hear the cars whizzing by but as you go deeper it just gets quiet and peaceful a look at the Steffi family homestead right here. They got some nice rocking chairs up there. Might have to go take a seat. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to. I mean, if this gate opens. Nope. It's chained up. 
at one point you probably were allowed to just go up there and hang out and take it in a little background on the Steffi place which is right here and then also they have a caretaker house that they also built we'll check out and they came here from Kentucky in 1883 Osceola County actually took over and restored everything made it into a regional park very nifty they even updated the outhouse wow it's beautiful absolutely stunning and you look down and they have these beautiful waterways right here actually things turned so quickly in this video talking about the hustle and bustle of the tourist district and now look at us right smack dab in the middle of the swamplands this really is great i'm actually enjoying it a lot here just so quiet i love it Here's the Steffi family cabin. Now that looks old. Wow. And I told you before, you can hear the car is just whizzing. That's 192 right here. There's a bridge that has a waterway that goes separate underneath it. And this is actually a launch point for canoes and kayaking. And it's a beautiful run. I was actually thinking about doing it, but they are closed. Usually it costs around $30 for every two hours definitely coming back here I'm gonna need a partner probably gonna be looking at Jackie or Sam because I know that they're interested in doing some kayaking with me I want to walk the pathways a little bit this takes you really far far back actually I didn't dress appropriately for this I probably should have uh, came a little bit more prepared but things happen like this you just get the spontaneous urge to pull to the side of the road and get out go on a nature hike we've come to a fork in the road you can either go right or left I think we're gonna go left I'm glad we went left look at that now we find the caretakers house right here 1920 holy moly that's crazy just out here in the middle of nowhere that's amazing that people can come in and preserve such amazing structures of history I love it and honestly it feels great to get a little nature living in Orlando is a very hustle bustle kind of life you know theme parks traffic shopping malls restaurants this makes me feel like I'm back home in Pennsylvania actually without the tropical plants though pathways are getting very narrow though <laughs> Oh boy actually I don't think this was a pathway at all it just kind of ends right there and there's a tree that's down blocking the path okay I think I found our way back on the path actually got a little off course there this is much much nicer it just keeps getting better and better the farther you go back this is beautiful back here absolutely stunning and out of nowhere the pathway just got very nice like well-maintained pathway right here look at that gigantic tree down actually right there holy moly that is huge I wonder if it actually made a noise when it fell over look at all the swamp water this is a beautiful spot as well not sure where this trail is going to take me actually or where i'm going to end up out at i know i parked my car i would say probably a mile from here maybe it's just a big loop around that's what i'm guessing it'd be nice if they had maps out but i don't see any maps or anything like that they had some maps out front but i really didn't look at them next time i should pay attention to that i guess leaves of three let it be is a familiar warning to stay clear of the plant poison ivy all over the place right here got to be very careful <laughs> holy moly i think we're coming on our way back out i see uh some structures oh yeah look at that that's the end of the trail that was literally perfect just what i needed i've uh, actually been cooped up in the house for the past couple days um i think three days and it felt good to actually get out 
and I feel fulfilled now. I feel like satisfied. I feel like I can go back home now and not get so like stir crazy. So that's perfect. A good idea if you guys are stuck at home, just go for a nice little nature walk. I think that's fantastic. As long as you stay away from people, it's perfectly fine. So I think that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it was a little spontaneous how we were going from <laughs> Old Town and motels and a whole bunch of 192 just to the Florida outdoors. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.